Hello, darlings, and welcome back to another episode of the Mystical Artist Podcast. It's the map for the for the artist that is bold enough to dig deep into the mysteries of him or herself, and like just dive deep into the mist in order to bring them forward. My name is Emanuela, or you can call me M. And today's topic is probably gonna be one of the most controversial that we've had so far. And we are talking about motivation. And I'm saying that it's gonna be a controversial topic and episode because motivation is something that is generally viewed as good as something to aspire to i guess like it's good to be motivated right to have that sense of purpose to go for what you want to have that grit that determination that whatever the fuck you want to call it i actually did make a post on determination on facebook right a few minutes ago which is fascinating uh but i'm not gonna give you any kind of details into that probably we're going to talk about it on this episode i'm not sure because it does go a bit hand in hand but anyway the idea is that motivation is seen as something that you want to have and that it's a good thing now here's the thing here's where it where it gets controversial you don't fucking need motivation okay and we can finish this episode (laughs) um okay i'm gonna say it again you do not need motivation just think about it when you do something out of enjoyment of desire of whatever you want to call it maybe think back in the days when you were a kid And you were doing, you were playing. Do do you even think of the word motivation when you are fucking enjoying yourself? No. The answer is no. That word does not even cross your mind. Truth be told, when you are enjoying yourself, what's happening is that you have that motivation already within you. Meaning that you have that fire, that desire is already ignited and you are completely into what you are doing in that particular moment. You are enjoying yourself you are being present in the moment and the motivation the only motivation that you need which is something that again when it just is you don't actually talk about it you don't think about it the only motivation that you actually need is the one related to the action itself like the pleasure of the action itself it's not about a certain outcome it's not about having any kind of expectations to how things should look like when you do something on how it should turn out or any of this kind no the only motivation when you're a kid you're playing you're enjoying yourself you're not in need of motivation to do something that you enjoy you just do it and you don't expect anything from it you just do it because you're fucking having fun and that's just it and guess what that's why you are fucking here to have fun to experience this incarnation of yourself this incarnated version of yourself in this life what was I saying? <laughs> and I'm just not sure how I, I wanted to finish that sentence. 
But anyway, so you are here to experience this. Think of, again, think of playing a game. You hit certain roadblocks at some point in the game. You don't know what to do next. There's a challenge. There's a level that is harder than before. Like, whatever it is, there is a roadblock, right? A metaphorical roadblock. It may be a literal one if you're doing some kind of racing game. Uh, but the point is, you are not attached to it because you know it's just a game. And what you do is you just have fun even in solving that, like getting past that. Like the fun is in figuring out how to get to that next level, even though you don't know what you're supposed to be doing right now in order to get there, you know? But it's just the fun, the thrill of figuring it out, meaning that it's not like bothering you that you don't know. When you play a game, you are expecting actually to not know what the fuck is happening. You're just gonna like learn as you go, meaning that you're just gonna experience shit and make certain decisions and move on from there and experience something else from what you decided and so on. And that's how life goes. And I know we're supposed to be talking here about art artists, but everything that I'm saying right now, you can apply to artists. But this honestly is even beyond that because it's like in general, you don't fucking need motivation when you are enjoying yourself. And now let's get to the point where you want motivation because this is something that everyone seems to need. And they are always looking like on the outside, meaning outside of them, for motivation, motivational speaking, motivational videos, motivational whatever, like you can hear the word everywhere, fucking everywhere. Getting some water, just a second. So, whenever you are in need of motivation to do something, it means you are not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Or maybe it's not like the action itself, meaning if you want to do, okay, let's give an example related to artists they usually don't want to do marketing they don't want to do selling they are the artists and i'm just gonna draw and i don't want to do that shit that business is shit or whatever and so you feel like you don't have the motivation to do that and you need the motivation to do that well the problem is not necessary it doesn't mean that if you don't feel like you have like the motivation within and you're looking for it outside, it does not mean that selling or marketing is not for you. No, what it means is that the way you are approaching marketing and selling is the wrong way for you because you're not fucking enjoying it. And you are just attached to this idea that of what you think marketing should look like what you think selling should look like like you especially even going with those motivational whatever they are speeches and getting motivated from people outside of you you get those ideas of how things should be how they should look like usually how other people that are successful in doing that are doing those things but they are successful in doing those things because they found their own way of doing them which is not what which is what you want to do but your way of doing things is not going to be their way of doing things because we are all one of a kind we are unique so what you want to do is to find your way of doing things so 
when you feel like you need motivation, you need motivation to draw, to create anything. It doesn't mean you should stop the project and don't work for, do not work on that project anymore. No, what it mean, it may mean that, that you should let go of that project. That can be the case. But usually it's just about you being stuck, actually perceiving yourself as being stuck in one way of doing things, in a certain way of doing things. So what you want to be doing is to get out of that box, think outside the box, literally, like seriously, that is what you want to do. Like, okay, what am I not enjoying about this? Okay, I'm just gonna actually give you kind of like steps to take. When you're in that situation, you don't go to motivate yourself because that's just gonna create addiction to outside motivation. And you're gonna be basically continuously forcing yourself to do something that you don't want to do, that you are not enjoying. And the more you do that, the more outside motivation you will need because you will be more and more tired and overwhelmed by doing shit that you don't want to do. And so when you find yourself in that situation, when you're seeking outside motivation, again, stop. You don't need the fucking motivation. You want to find what actually motivates you from within, meaning specifically, what is it about the thing that you're doing that you don't like? Because the first thing you want to do is ditch the shit that you don't actually like doing. So think, what specifically about that project, that creation, that situation that you are in, you do not like? That you need like a shove, a push from the back. Why is it that you need that? What do you not like? And you want to get rid of that. Let it fucking go. And then you want to see what do you replace it with if it needs replacing. Maybe sometimes just getting rid of that will already kind of like give you new ideas because you get unstuck when you see that, oh, I was attached to having things go this way, but they can go in a certain, in a different way. They don't need to go this way. And you just free your mind from that limitation. But then you can also ask yourself the next thing. How would I be fucking enjoying this project? Like if there is nothing holding me back at this moment, there is no constriction whatsoever how would I actually want this project to be? And fucking do that. Honestly, I don't even know if there's anything more to say. You just want to get rid of the limitations that you have and to do what excites you. Excites you is not really a good term, the right term, like intrigues you, because intrigue is actually what makes you curious of going forward with something that you don't know where it is going. It just gives you that kind of incentive, that thrill of wanting to move forward. Although again, you are walking in uncharted territory and you are excited to find out yourself what's coming out of it. So get, let yourself be guided by what intrigues you. Uh, there could be a discussion here. So by the way, when you get to that point, you may realize that the project is not for you. 
So that can happen. We just realize that that's just not what this project is going to be about. There's no way I can see that I can make it exciting for me, or as we were talking, intriguing for me. And so you want to drop it. That can definitely happen. But the most important thing that you want to remember out of this episode is that it's about making it intriguing for you. It's not just about giving up on it completely from the start and getting pissed off that it's not how you want it to be. You have to make it how you want it to be. Because here's the thing, we get this, and especially artists, because artists have this child energy in them and they always kind of seek for approval and permission from an authority figure in their life to do something and they're not responsible for making their own choices. That's a thing in the artist world. And so there is this sense of entitlement which means that you feel that you're supposed to be having this awesome, those awesome projects and you're supposed to just be having those amazing clients. And when you don't, you're pissed off and you say, oh, those clients are so shitty, this project is so shitty and it's just pissing me off. But here's the problem, you're not owning you. You're not taking responsibility for it meaning that you don't fucking own who you are and say, hey, this is not fucking working. That's not working for me. So this, this, and this are not okay. And if those don't change, we're off the project. Like you don't own the fucking, your desires. You do not own your desires. And you don't, when you don't express them, you don't, it means that you don't own them. And clients, let me tell you, they cannot fucking read your mind. So, so many times you are just in the state of annoyance because you are actually not communicating. You are not stating what it is that you want and you are getting yourself into projects. Sorry, you are getting yourself into projects that are below your standards they do not intrigue you but you just get into them because you are basically afraid to say no and that is what gets you in that situation where you feel like you need to be motivated to do something whenever you need motivation that's a sign that there's something that you're doing wrong and by wrong, I mean something that's wrong for you personally. It does not intrigue you. It does not feed your fucking soul because when you are excited to do something, it feeds your soul. Actually, you can feel within whenever something is like good for you, you feel this sense of expansion within you. Like it's like you feel bigger than what you normally are. And when, whenever you feel like you are contracting, like you want to be small, you don't want to be there, you, that is a sign that that's a no, something is off. And you are not respecting yourself and you ha don't have, do not have your own back. You are not in your knowingness at that point. The knowingness of who you are. And you're just crumbling under some kind of fear, pressure, whatever it is. And in those moments, you just want to observe, oh shit, yes, I felt this shrinkness inside of me. So what's, what's off here? You want to be specific in determining what it is that that's off and don't just assume that the whole project is off or the client or the whatever. Try to 
pinpoint the thing that makes you feel that way and change that or state it like this is the issue here you know sometimes communication can fix it sometimes you just have to own your no and that's it I guess that's kind of it for this episode with motivation. And the most important thing that you can remember out of this is that you don't fucking need motivation. When you have it, it just is, and you don't think about it. When you need it, it means there's something off and you want to figure it out what that is so don't go running for motivation you're just chasing something outside of you you are perpetuating lack of trust within yourself and you are going to become addicted to motivation you will think that it is normal to do shit that you don't want to do and getting motivation is just part of the process. It's just normal because this is actually what society thinks right now, but it is not. So stop being the sheep in society and start being your authentic, one-of-a-kind self and be you and you will never need motivation to do anything. Life is going to be so fucking intriguing. That's it, guys. See you next episode. Bye.